Have you ever wondered what happens in the human brain during Salah, the Islamic act of prayer? Scientific exploration might seem worlds apart from an individual's private moment of connection with the divine. But recent research suggests a fascinating interplay between neuroscience and spirituality. It turns out, tracking brainwaves during prayer can tell us quite a lot about the profound impact Salah has on the mind. Let's set the stage. During Salah, Muslims follow a series of movements, standing, bowing, prostrating, and recite specific verses and supplications. It's not only an act of worship, it's an immersive experience combining physical posture, mental focus, and emotional intention. Neuroscientists became curious. Could this unique ritual change the way the brain works? Using electroencephalograms, or EEGs, researchers tracked brainwaves of individuals engaged in prayer. The results were astounding. In the early stages of Salah, the brain showed heightened beta waves associated with active thinking and concentration. It's no surprise. This is the moment of recitation, requiring focus as the individual navigates through verses. But during prostration, the sajda, something remarkable happened. Alpha waves, linked to relaxation and calm, surged significantly. Even more intriguing, some studies reported bursts of theta waves, which are often seen during deep meditation and states of peace. This suggests that during sajda, the brain may enter a mode akin to heightened mindfulness and emotional grounding. The science doesn't stop there. Practicing Salah regularly has been linked to long-term benefits, lower stress levels, improved emotional resilience, and even positive effects on cognition. From a neurophysical standpoint, the combination of structured movements, rhythmic recitation, and intentional focus creates a powerful synergy, almost like mental gym for the brain. When science meets worship, it opens a new lens to understand the mysteries of human existence. And perhaps it reminds us how beautifully intertwined the physical and spiritual can truly be.